Okay, um, I'm working on the steering now, and uh, I built a spindle for it for this. And the problem that I'm coming coming across here is that when I take my tie rod and I stuck it on here, when I turn one direction, if you look up here, it seems to work all right. I seem to have enough clearance, but when I start going back, the bar starts to collide with the arm here and then it starts to bind right here. So I'm not too sure if I should, well I was thinking about maybe bending uh, bending the, the spindle up to make it so that that doesn't do that. But what I think I'll do is I'll take this off and then take the bar up to about this part right here and I'll probably bend that up. So that way it'll lift the bar up more, so that way I don't get that kind of collision up there. And then I start getting binding down here. If I keep going, I'm going to bend my 5 16 tie rod connector right here. So I think I'm going to do that. The tie rods are going to be connected right in the middle here. And then the steering shaft's going to be up and it's going to go back and forth in between these two, in between the arches here. Okay. Alright, well this is what I did. <coughs> I uh, I tried just putting that one bend in, but it didn't work. Um, so I had to put one bend in about two and, go up, two and a half. Yeah, about two and a half inches, put a bend in it. And then from that point, I went up another two inches, or two inches, so this is two and a half, and that's two inches. Now when I go to put it on, Now I have no collision. So now I'll have to do that. Now I'll do that to the other tie rod over on the other side. There you go. Now it's time for a shameless plug. Be sure to check out the links down in the description to the next video, previous video, or another related build. Well, all right, I got the spindles and everything done today. Um, and I did uh, figure out how to bend the rod, so I had to make two bends in it, like I showed you earlier on. But um, this seat right here is uh, is the one that uh, I decided to put on there. It's just a uh, it's a fishing seat. I'm gonna show you something here. I was thinking now this is before I even got the got the seat. I was thinking about putting in a piece of angle iron right here and coming down and connecting it, you know and putting that in the plans and everything, but since I got this seat, I think what I'll do is I'll just use a smaller piece and stick it in like that, and then weld that in. Smaller pieces in here just to reinforce this little neck right there. Yeah, so then I'll be able to do the next one on the other side too, so. But that's not gonna be till maybe tomorrow. Um, also tomorrow I'm gonna work on the steering. Uh, the shaft is going to come up. It's going to come up at about uh, 60 degrees. So, um, yeah, it's uh, this is going to be a fun machine, man. I tell you what. And um, yeah, okay. So uh, I'll throw this out, and this will be uh, video number three. So, okay. See you guys later. Be sure to check out the links down in the description to the next video, previous video, or another related build.